Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve the problem of fonts as well as the images. So what we are going to do is uh, we need a logo. If you check out the demo here, we need a logo for our application as well as a user profile. You can use the flash icon service. They have a lot of uh, images here. They are free to use them. Um, I will use this one as a user profile as well as there was another one for the logo, which I have already downloaded in my and put it in the public and the image directory here. I have created an image directory. These are the, the two images that I am going to use. So for the font awesome, if you go to the documentation, quickly we can go down there and we are going to use the SAS version. So just click on the SAS and install it through NPM. So what we are going to do is just go down here and run the command of installing it. I think they do not have it here, so I will just come back and find it all the way down there yeah here is the comment make sure to yeah you can click on the copy here here is the time it is going to install it in the fourth awesome directory and font awesome so i will come to the application here this is running our watcher i will open another tab here and then pasting the code and press enter it will just take a few seconds to install it is done now what we can do is just close your come in here and if you open the composer.json again here uh, right here uh, you can see that we have our font awesome version 5.2 so we are going to again to the sas directory here what i'm going to explain for you is that there are different version of this so i hope they show up yeah we have the font awesome they have the brand which show the social networks solid regular you can use one of them that is fine but for our purpose just copy this uh, line here we just open our app.scss at the top here just write it down like this what this is going to refer to the fonts or the svg icons do not save it for now what we are going to do is we are going to import them so we will import only three of these one three of them i mean we will use the solid version and the brand will uh, contain all the social media icons so i will open uh, just put it here and instead of these dot points here you can see instead of these dot points so i will select three of them at once and remove them instead of that just put a tilde and this is fine what this is going to do is this is going to let me close some of the extra windows going to the mo um, node module folder going to the font awesome uh, if you do not see it here just refresh it like this if you refresh it and then close it and this time open it yeah you have the at font awesome here what i'm going to do is just select this three and write the at sign here once you add that one going to the free of the um, going to the free folder here this is font awesome but what we are going to write is the full directory to this one so this is fourth awesome as you can see this is r and then you have font awesome again i will select this one okay right we'll delete this and i'm going to write if you do not remember this one the easiest way to do this one is just uh, going to the package.json here is the full name for this one so i will copy it quickly and just replace it here this is for the free version and then this one as well as this one so after adding your font here all you need to do is going to the documentation here going down and they have three files here this is for the font awesome they have solid they have brain for social and what i am going to do is just linking them here the, uh, just uh, look at the url this is going to the fourth awesome directory which is in the node module if you don't see here just re click the refresh here it will refresh everything and this time it should show up here that we have a directory of fourth awesome and then font awesome free inside this one you can open the sc scss or css we will just use the scss and you can see that we have the font awesome scss we have our um, solid here as well as the brains which uh, refer to the social network 
so i will save it if you save it and going to your application this time we just wait for it to compile yeah it compiled and if i refresh it it should just display all the fonts for us for the icons we need yeah we can see we have them one of them here and this one is also working the reason these are not showing because they are using different name and we will change that later in this video so what the else uh, we are going to do is um, changing the images uh, another thing you should um, remember is if you open the notification or this one this area we have uh, this user profiles we are not going to use this stuff so if i open the app master here layout master template i will just uh, show you which uh, part or extra if i scroll down you have home contact everything you have here might uh, you might not use most of them so what i'm going to do is where are those links home or contact we don't need them so i think we have them here here we are going to remove it uh, what else we have our search form let it be there because we might add the search uh, and we have the right sidebar links so what these are these are the this sidebar so i will just close it here and we don't need as well as we have the main sidebar so we need the main sidebar if i remove this one and save it let's refresh our page and and you can see everything is working just fine the next thing we have to remove some of the extra stuff here is the name for our app i think yeah we'll give it a letter start name and for the logo here for now i will just hard code it maybe in future i will show you how you can dynamically add it so from the current directory which refers to the public directory go to the img from here just uh, logo.png and for the alt just say lera start logo and i will refresh the page it should display the logo here nicely and you know that again we do not have the font awesome here so we might check out why this is not working here for us if you open the inspect console you have four other errors some of them are server errors some of them are app error and this is stuff like this csrf token we will solve them step by step but why our icon is not showing up here when we deleted the the things that the home we deleted the icon as well i think this icon so what I'm going to do is view the source. Going down, we have our navbar push icon here. So what I will do is just quickly copy this one. Going back here, yeah, I think we remove this one. What we do not need is only this portion of the menu. So I will save it. This time, if I refresh our page yeah we broke something yes uh, we have the nav here mm, maybe there is something small broken so what i will do is just pause the video and find the, the problem so the problem is here we have a nav here you can see we have our nav bar here which repeat uh, two times so if i come here and control z everything not here let me go out copy the code and we said we should add it here we have two navbar here this is the reason at the top of it so i'll remove this one and let's refresh our page this time so now it is working just fine except for the fact we do not need this and refresh it again now it is working just fine now we have to add this logo here you can see this is working yeah just fine we need to add the user profile so i will come down you have the structure and there is the user profile yeah it's showing the alexander prince so i will say go to the public directory going to the img from here take the profile dot png and i will come down and need to remove some other stuff as well here is the another content we do not yeah here is the main content and if i come down I think there is another sidebar yeah this is the extra sidebar we don't need everything else is what we need so if i refresh it 
it should show the the username here as well as some of the icons so if you wonder why some of the icons are not showing so i will come up here you can just see how it is going to work a structure fa dashboard instead of fa i will write fa is to check if this is the correct way of adding if not showing just go yeah it's still not showing because yeah the other day someone asked me that this is not going to work for me this is one of the reason like font awesome 5 is having some issues so if you go to the uh, icon directory here search for the dashboard yeah here is the dashboard alt yeah what you can do is just uh, see how they are going to add the, the font yeah here is the dashboard alt because in the newer version you are not going to use the old one so that's why it is not working so i'll come here and replace it with the new icon so this time refresh the page yeah it is not showing here why so let's refresh again it still is not showing so let's solve it this is if it shows something like that we are missing the fas maybe yeah come here at the fas fas stands for font awesome the solid version save it again and refresh it now it is just fine so in the next video we will continue on adding more feature and i hope um, you will not get tired because some of this video will take to time but some of this i should have to explain more that's why so i hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching